Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're doing a sick unboxing video. We have some kind of sun lounger that I bought on Amazon. As uh, we have like a rooftop up here so we can kind of lay down and get a tan finally as uh, I'm pretty pale. So pick this guy up. It's June. My birthday's coming up. I've got like, I don't know, 12 days to get tanned. My birthday's on June 15th. So I've gone ahead and bought a sun lounger. Never had one of these things before in my life. Hopefully it's easy to put together. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty straightforward to be honest. And I'm pretty sure you can also buy like a table. And uh, I hope this comes with cushions because uh, it, it shows there's cushions on here. So uh, hopefully, you know, everything's included in this little thing we bought. So let's unbox this dude real quick. Look at these sick angles, dude. All right, you can pop it all open. Boom, boom. Oh no. The one thing I don't really have in this apartment is a, a vacuum cleaner. And um, the packaging here, this one that kind of falls apart, like the white bubbles, I guess. I don't know what the hell you'd call this, like the white foam. I really need to buy a vacuum. Okay, I can confirm. Comes with cushions, they're all here. Okay, this is gonna be really simple. I think they all just kind of slot together. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set all this up indoors, and then we can move it outside and lay in the sun. Hopefully it doesn't rain. I need to get like a cover for this one as well, as um, if it rains, you know, ideally we, we wanna cover up all the cushions and protect them all. What is this made out of? Is this like plastic? <laughs> well, that's, that's everything. All right, let's get these cushions opened up. Hopefully they're nice and soft. There should be three of them, I think. One, two, three, okay. I'm like 175 meters, 175 meters tall, centimeters tall, or maybe 176. And uh, this fits me just fine. I think it's probably around two meters long or maybe like 1.8 meters long, somewhere around there. So I can definitely lay on this, no problemo. And so can a slightly taller person. So cushions, all good, I approve. Now as for all these other bits and pieces, this whole thing is plastic. I can't believe that. For the price this costs, I mean, outdoor furniture, I think every, Part of this thing is plastic. Oh my God, there are so many parts to, oh Jesus Christ. This sun lounger comes with instructions. How many legs are there, man? Oh my God. I just keep taking things out. What are these? Them gigantic screws. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We might be here for a while. How do you build this thing? These click into place. Why aren't they already in? Do I have to put anything inside of them first? Surely, okay, this will go like in here and then it will join up. Yeah, this might take a while to set up. <laughs> One good thing about like outdoor furniture and the fact that I kind of have like a bit of space on the roof here is that I can probably test out some outdoor LED strips and like LED lights, like the floodlights and stuff, all sorts of cool RGB LED technology can now be tested out, which I'm very happy about because I know Philips Hue makes some kind of outdoor LED light strip, which I can now review because we have like a balcony out here. So if you're interested in seeing videos about like outdoor LED lighting technology, I guess, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to read all those comments. Also, I should already mention, uh, thank you all so much for all the like amazing messages on Instagram, like in the YouTube comment section as well. There was probably hundreds and hundreds of comments that I went through uh, when part one and part two went live. So many positive comments, so many of you like super, super stoked about the apartment. I'm loving it as well. Thank you all so much for all the positive messages, all the luck. Thank you so much guys, I really appreciate it. Genuinely, the amount of like Instagram DMs I went through, oh my God, it's crazy. <laughs> so thank you all so much for all the positive messages. I really do appreciate it. Right, back to building this entire thing. Are these two pieces identical? I think they are. Yeah, there's, they're literally like a perfect square. Okay, kind of lay it out like this because then that last piece there, that's gonna go at the end. Ah, they can go in like this. Oh, is that it? Cool, then this will be the end. One more. These are like Legos, mate. <laughs> okay, this will go in like this. I hope I'm putting everything together correctly here. There are these giant screws as well that it came with. This genuinely screws in. What is the point of screwing this in further? We have like these gigantic screws that you put in each one of the legs as well. Now the final bit here, so this will go, aha, uh -huh. so this will go like this. And we have some adjustments as well. I see, cool. Flip it over. Well, uh, that's it. We built it. Let's flip it over. Hopefully none of the legs fall out, yeah? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I think I'm done. Ooh. Oh my God, it's sliding. What have I bought? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you just completely slide down? How do you prevent this? I think you gotta put it like this, man. But it just does not want to attach. That should be okay now. Oh my God. I think we did it. I think now it's okay. Okay. Hopefully when we lay down now, 
you won't slide. <laughs> you won't completely slide down. Oh. Okay, it's all good now. Job done. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a bad idea. Quick update, we have another sun lounger now that I built off camera with my friend. It was actually really, really easy to set up. Uh, let me show you. Right, so we're on the balcony right now. We got one sun lounger here. We got another one there. The sun loungers are like pretty cool. I kind of had to get a second one though, because uh, you know, I can't be laying here by myself. We got to get a guest over here as well. So you know, if any of my friends come around, if anyone comes around, they can lay down here as well. We can drink some coffee in the morning. Like in the morning, it's really, really nice up here, especially when the sun is out. And then even at night, because of like all these barriers and stuff around me, uh, they kind of block the wind and you're kind of, you know, laying quite low to the ground there. So even at night, it's not too bad. It's not too windy. But if it rains, uh, I've bought like two covers for both of these. It's all good. We're going to protect all the cushions and stuff, man. Yeah, but uh, as for like the rest of the balcony, I can't show you too much and I can't show you the view. I wish I could, but you would know exactly where I live immediately. Um, yeah, I have to be very careful of what I show or else there's going to be people showing up to this apartment like every day. So uh, up here, we got like a little LED light bulb on the, on the side of the wall there. I think we can change those out to like Philips Hue, make it RGB. And I had a really good idea that someone gave me to put an LED light strip around the entire perimeter of the balcony as the balcony is pretty damn big. Uh, so I think we could pick up some Philips Hue outdoor LED strips that you know are like weatherproof and stuff and put them all around this balcony. That would look sick. And I was thinking too to put LED light strips beneath each sun lounger, which I thought was a good idea, but others said that it's, it's kind of stupid. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be doing that, but putting an LED light strip around the entire perimeter of the balcony, that would be sick. Anyway, I can't really show you too much of the view of the balcony. I'm so sorry. The view's like pretty damn good, but if I show you anything, <laughs> people will know immediately where I live. Anyway, all right, cool. Um, the sun lounges are built. Ooh, speaking of the covers and stuff, yeah. They're kind of on the floor there. I need to buy like, I think some drawers or some kind of boxes, I think, or something for all these like um, wardrobe cabinets. I don't even know what the hell you'd even call these things. I feel like what I really need is like, you know, something to close this stuff with, but there's no doors, there's no sliding doors, there's nothing. It's just like open shelves, like. So this is the guest bedroom that we're currently in. Uh, there's really not much going on here. Uh, we have some towels drying off, <laughs> even though I'm pretty sure They've been dry for several days now. They've just kind of been hanging here. Um, yeah, <laughs> we got like a blanket there, a duvet. Uh, we need to put some bed sheets on here as well. And then I also need to buy some extra stuff uh, for the guests that stay here. So um, we have towels already for the guests. If you open up this drawer, we got like a smaller towel and then we got a bigger towel. Very nice. You know, got to accommodate all your guests needs. We have a bath towel in the guest bathroom over there as well. And the one thing that I need to buy is like toiletries, like the mini ones for like travel, I guess, that I kind of stuff in there. So if anyone sleeps over, you know, there's like some mouthwash in there, some toothpaste or, you know, whatever the hell they need is all in there. But apart from that though, oh uh, yeah, just super sick outdoor area. Love it. When the sun's out, man, like I just lay down there, like earlier in the video, you saw when I built the first one, I just lay down there. I was drinking, I think a monster. <laughs> and I was just replying to all the comments. So I feel like that's kind of what I'm gonna try to do because it's just like a super nice spot. It's, you know, peaceful there, nothing going on. Um, Cause like in the past, I used to do like literally everything in my room. Like looking back at it, I'm just like, I lived a, like a very strange life, I guess. <laughs> it's like, I slept in the office. I, I worked in the office. I, I did everything in the exact same room. And now, now things are kind of, you know, separated up and stuff. Like for example, the setup is still back at home. So if I ever need to go edit a video or do anything on a PC, I gotta drive like 30, 40 minutes back home uh, to edit everything. By the way, the setup will be moved over soon. You may have seen the previous video. We set up internet, man. We set up internet. So that's all good. By the way, yeah, the router has been moved there instead of being by the TV as I feel like the signal is a little bit better, you know, over there in that corner. And uh, yeah, also TV. I kind of didn't mention it at all in the previous video. And some people pointed it out like, this dude 
got a TV out of nowhere and hasn't even mentioned it a single time in the video. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, I've acknowledged that it's there. This video that I recorded earlier that still needs to be edited and some extra bits added onto it before it goes live. But just be on the lookout for a dedicated video about that TV pretty soon. It's crazy, I didn't buy that TV. I was not expecting to have a TV for a while. Okay, maybe not for a while. I would have probably just like financed one from Curry's. But um, yeah, I did not buy that TV. It's, it's a pretty good TV too. It's like 4K, it's curved, it's HDR. Video coming soon, stay tuned for that one. And uh, as for the rest of the stuff, I need to buy some more outdoor furniture. I, I need a coffee table and I need two, what, do, what are they called? Two armchairs <laughs> for the outside. So need to buy those, but man, outdoor furniture is expensive. I had no clue outdoor furniture would be this expensive. Like it has to be like really, really overpriced because that whole thing, like both the sun loungers, they're plastic, they're, they're freaking plastic. And uh, the, surely the cushions don't cost that much either. And they cost 120 pound per sun lounger. Like what? <laughs> what kind of plastic am I paying for here, man? <laughs> so like outdoor furniture, freaking expensive, man. And like even the coffee table, I think that's like 80 pound. Like what? <laughs> what kind of coffee table is this? I'm pretty sure it's just plastic. You're paying 80 pound for plastic. What is this, man? <laughs> But it is something I kind of need to buy. It's the same kind of design, I guess. Maybe I need to like stop shopping on Amazon as much and go to actual physical stores where they might be a bit cheaper when it comes to outdoor furniture. But the sun loungers are freaking nice. They look good. The cushions, pretty darn good too. Like, I'm pretty happy with them. Like I'd probably buy one more, but they're just really expensive. I, 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 I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't think I need another one. Maybe sometime in the future. At the moment, you know, it's summer. You kind of want a place to lay down, get a tan. Working on getting a tan though. You know, we have sun lounges now. We can lay down, we can get tanned. It's gonna be good. Ooh, um, also there's more networking videos on the way as well. We have Orbi set up here. We have the Orbi router, EE. We have a VPN set up for the whole house as well. Uh, so not just per device, it's a VPN on the Orbi uh, router over there. So that's all good as um, I'm pretty sure my Amazon AliExa is a bit broken. She's a bit crazy. Uh, that one in the corner there, the first gen Amazon Echo, uh, that one don't even work. Like for some reason, whenever I try to set it up as a device on the Amazon AliExa app, it says that because I'm on like the 4G network, I can't do it. So I set up a VPN to hopefully try to bypass it. But uh, yeah, I still need to try to reinitiate that whole setup process. Hopefully now it'll work because I'm on a VPN. That should mask the fact that I'm on a 4G network, I hope. And any limitations like being on a 4G network brings, you know? So I will get actual broadband soon. It's just, we have two BT routers there and well, the two BT modems and neither of them are, are doing a single thing. Uh, I spoke to an RSP and apparently the whole line has been stopped. Yeah, I need to speak to the management team down here again. So hopefully, they can contact BT or give me the right information so I can contact them and order new internet because I don't even know the landline number in this apartment. So the moment I find out my landline number, then I can order new internet. So it's kind of a tricky situation. At least we have working internet though, thanks to EE and their 4G router. But anyway, one more update before we end this video. Currently in the office, as you see, there's a bed. There's also a table and some table legs. Yeah, our table is here, but there's also a bed and two bedside tables. Um, we don't need a bed and two bedside tables in my office. No, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, we need to move that bed out. I've told them to move it out. I hope they do it soon. I think they contacted the landlord to get approval. Uh, just a matter of time until that bed gets removed because I asked for it to get removed like a while ago, but no one removed it. So hopefully they're gonna do it now so I can move in the office because we have internet now. We are like ready to move over the setup. I'm ready to do the upload speed though. I still can't get over the fact how fast the 4G network is over the uh, like EE network. It's like 60, 50 megabits per second, man. That's nuts. Like I'm used to like 18, like uploading videos. It's gonna be so quick, man. Oh my God. I need my hay fever tablet. Yesterday, hay fever barely affected me. I completely forgot to even take my medicine for it. And today, today it's killing me. <laughs> I've been sneezing all day. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Another video coming soon, of course. I think there's going to be a few daily uploads starting from today. Or well, starting from yesterday, I guess, because this video should go live today, I hope. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.